Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to read you a poem that I wrote in remembrance of the hardship that the Windrush generation had gone through. It was in 1948 when people from the Caribbean was invited to the cold grey land of England. They left with their little grips, leaving families, sun, sea and sand behind for 28 days on a ship. Yes, the empire wind rush that rocked from side to side on huge waves. All appeared to be merry when the ship docked at Tilbury Harbour, setting foot on the so-called motherland. Looking around was only dark grey smoke rushing out of chimneys that appeared to be factories. And so the journey began hoping to build a future to return home in five years' time, but instead hard times were up ahead. It was only the miracle from God above kept their heads above water. Finding a place to rest their heads was like gold dust, for in this gloomy land, no Irish, no blacks, no dogs could not find a place to lay their heads in this motherland. The hours of work were long and hard to earn peanuts to pay bills and raise a family. Some of them had to send their children back home to be raised by other members of their families. As life got harder each passing day, they had to rely on the good old partner and juggling jobs to get by. Life became so uncertain as racism escalated and attacks became more prominent. Windrush generation were thrown into prison because they defended themselves. Many years passed before they could own a spot on the British soil, working through sleepless nights, blood, sweat and tears. 74 years passed, but not a lot have changed, although they had managed to take root into this land, making marks and build a variety of foundations. And so they've been through a wretched journey to allow Windrush generations to reap some of their hardship. Be the stronger ones, my dear, to make our blood, sweat and tears be remembered. This, my song of the Windrush generation. In 2013, some people were deported, their documents destroyed and assets taken. Ah. The danger is, some people being deported was born and raised in the so-called motherland. Continuous hardship is still ahead. Oh, what can we do to please this nation? This dilemma seems to follow. Guys, at the end of my poem. <laughs> if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section. Continue to like, subscribe, and share. That's all for now. Take care until. Bye.